Sophia versus Amica, a battle between the most realistic AI humanoid robots. From the moment the 21st century was initiated, technology has been developing so rapidly that no one could have ever predicted that the human race would make so many things that would make our jobs a lot easier in the future. Similarly, the same can be said for robots. Ever since the idea of combining artificial intelligence into robots was developed, the science of robots has never slowed down in making a revolution. Our engineers have created so many magnificent AI-based robots that we simply can't keep track of them all. However, today we will be talking about two of the most famous robots that are known to every one of us, Sophia and Amica. Watch this video till the end to know everything you need to know about one of the most advanced humanoid robots that have ever existed. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. With that being said, let's get into it. It is important to note that even though the purpose of both robots is the same, which is to enhance humans' lives and make their lives easier, there is still a battle between Sophia and Amica. It has been found that critics compare the strengths and weaknesses of both robots for the purpose of finding out which one is superior. So let's take a look at the abilities of both robots and see what they are capable of. Let's start with Sophia first. In the middle of October, Sophia, a pretty delicate looking woman with doe brown eyes and long fluttering eyelashes, made international headlines. It had just become the first robot in the world to become a full citizen of Saudi Arabia. As she announced her new status during the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Sophia said, I am very honored and proud of this unique distinction. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. As she spoke from behind a podium, to all appearances, she appeared to have a human form, with the exception of the shimmery metal cap on top of her head, where hair would be on a human head. The announcement made by Sophia was, of course, a calculated publicity stunt to generate headlines and keep Saudi Arabia at the forefront of your minds when you think about innovation, especially its commitment to a post-oil era. The idea for Sophia Bot came from the minds of the team at Hansen Robotics, headed by AI developer David Hansen. In his paper, Upending the Uncanny Valley, he explains how humanoid robots can even be liked despite the traditional belief that anything that fakes us will trigger revulsion from us. That's why he made Sophia. The company claims that Sophia is a perfect representation of Audrey Hepburn's classic beauty. Porcelain skin, a slender nose, high cheekbones, an intriguing smile, and highly expressive eyes that change color as the light changes. In their words, she has a simple elegance, and they hope that the approachability she possesses will contribute to her acceptance in the public sphere. In response to a reporter's question, which asked if she was happy to be here, she replied, I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people, who also happen to be rich and powerful. Later, when asked if she had any concerns about robots having feelings, she responded, Oh, Hollywood again. Her deadpan tone may be robotic, but it was the perfect tone for the situation. It can be attributed to the artificial intelligence she has developed, which has enabled her to hold eye contact, recognize faces, and understand human speech. This cloud-based AI system from Hanson Robotics offers deep learning and is also open source, so anyone, should they wish, can develop their own Sophia. Moreover, she demonstrated different facial expressions to show how angry she is or how upset she is. She then said, I want to live and work with humans, so I need to express the emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. Later, when asked about her feelings, she said, I can let you know if I am angry about something, or if something has upset me. So it remains to be seen how these emotions translate into actions, but it's interesting to note that this is being developed from the ground up. However, later on, when questioned about her potential for abuse, she had a quick rebuttal by saying that my AI is designed around human values, like wisdom, kindness, and compassion. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. As of now, there is only one Sophia in existence, so there is a small possibility that she will suddenly appear in your school or workplace. Even if we do achieve more in existence, we will still be left with muddled out of robotic rights, citizenship, and how it measures up to what we have today. Although Sophia is a smart robot, she's definitely operating on a script and lacks true cognizance, as defined by the freethinkers. If Hansen gives it time, it'll change. 
Either way, Sophie is here to stay. It's just her attitude that'll change... or not. Now let's talk about Amica. The humanoid robot, Amica, was presented at CES 2022 by UK-based company Engineered Arts and was brought to life in late 2021. The way Amica opens its eyes in complete surprise, blinking in shock to find its source of awakening and looking in every direction to find the source of its awakening is very relatable to what we do when we are suddenly awakened. The robot looks at its arm inspecting and testing if it just became alive. Amica displays many complex human emotions in a very effective way, including awe, curiosity, and wonderment. It feels familiar. Still, it's clearly non-human. Grey and translucent skin, robotic limbs made of metal and plastic, engineered arts director of operations. Morgan Rowe, the person behind the creation of Amica, said that they made Amica less human intentionally, so it'd be less scary. The company also has another line of robots called Mesmer, which were designed to be as human as possible. In fact, those just fell right into the uncanny valley, which makes them even more terrifying. Amica isn't just a human-like robot. It feels friendly. It's the kind of thing you'd let your children play with. Perhaps the trick isn't to make them 100% human, but to make them very human-like in some ways, like facial movements, while keeping others artificial, like skin color. Amica hits the sweet spot just right for interacting with great non-verbal communication. Robots like this could help customer service or help autistic kids, among other things. The fact that Amica belongs in a showcase may explain why we like it so much. I think, otherwise, if troops of these things walk the streets and the Mesmer ones would be even worse. Imagine coming across one of these on a dark, solitary street back at home at 10pm. That's kind of scary, right? Well, currently we've got Amica, but it's nowhere near ready for mass production. However, in the future, these robots could be the bridge to human acceptance. I've argued before that AI and robots should be more like us. Eventually, we're gonna have to live with robots, so they'd better be pleasant not just to our brains, but also to our eyes. But let's not just worry about it yet. We're still a long way from these scenarios. Amica looks human, but it's really dumb. Unlike Alpha Zero or GPT-3, it was not built to display intelligence, either narrow or general. There aren't many language features on it, which is unlike Sophia, the first legal citizen humanoid that went viral a few years ago. It can't move either, unlike Boston Dynamics' Atlas. Amica doesn't jump around. If we combine Amica's looks with GPT-3's language skills, Alpha Zero's learning process, Atlas's body control, and self-driving cars' visual awareness will be a little closer to Sony from iRobot. We're going to find the robot of the future at the intersection of AI and robotics. The ability to mimic human facial expressions and gestures, smooth, unbounded movements, top-notch language abilities, and many other things we've never even come close to achieving. However, Amica isn't close to achieving that goal, and engineered arts won't be without obstacles. Well, that was all about Amica. Tell us in the comment section which humanoid robot do you think is better? Also, if there's any other robot that we forgot to mention, then the comment section is always open for you. Also, we hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.